The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to plot the components of a vector field that are normal or tangent to a surface using the fields calculator. Access the field calculator by right-clicking fields overlay and selecting calculator. First, add the electric vector into the stack and then select the surfaces that we'll be plotting on. In this example, we're using collar one. With the surface on the top entry of the stack, we can select the normal unit vector to get the unit normal to that surface. By dotting it with the dot operator into our electric vector, we can pull the component of the electric vector that is normal to the surface. Next, we're going to add that same quantity back, the surface normal, so we can get their product. Locate the collar one surface geometry object again, and then select unit vector normal. Multiply both of them like so with the general multiplication operator, and then add to the named expression list. Let's call this E vector normal. Next, we can use that quantity to plot the tangent component by subtracting it out of our vector field. So let's add our electric vector back into the stack, scroll down and find our E vector normal, we'll copy that to the stack and subtract out the E vector normal component. Let's add that back as E vector tangent. Now let's select the object that we want to plot on, right click, find fields named expression, and select plot on surface only. With E vector normal added, let's change the plot visibility and repeat those steps for the second quantity. Similarly, check plot on surface only. And likewise, uncheck plot visibility so we can compare them one by one. We can rotate the model now to verify that the E vector normal indeed plots only the normal component of the electric field on the object, while E vector tangent plots only the tangent component of the E vector on the object.